What's up guys, welcome to the experimental tube, the place where we make and break stuff. Um, today I got my new motors, um, they're a little bit stronger, previous ones were 4 kilograms per centimeter, these are 5. Um, due to some excellent help uh, I figured out how to test it in a, in a good way, so I'm uh, able to um, uh, control the duet board in a good way and I also got some really good comments uh, through the Hypercube Facebook page on how to set up the motor current so that also could help me a lot so let's see if we can get it done today so first you need to give it the code G91 and after this you can give it the code G1 S Two, and then for the z-axis, and in this case I want to give it 100 millimeters, give it 100. Oh, space in between, and then send it, and then you can see they rotate in a great way. Let's do that again. Yeah, if I want to rotate different way, I said z minus 100, and they rotate the other way. So that's okay. Now I'm going to change the motors. I'll do this in a quick way. And see you again. Okay, so we've got new motors installed. Um, let's give it a give it a go without any weight. So first thing first, let's have a look. That looks good. Let's go up for something. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's give uh, the fire extinguisher a go. Uh, previous motors was not a huge success, it was really on the limit. So let's have a look what it does now. Oh. At least it goes down. And it goes up as well. So really like this. That's already a good, a good, a good sign. So next up, three liters. Okay, let's have a look for the three liters. Still not good. Um, so now I will try to increase the motor current. So we go to settings, uh, system editor, and then to the config point G file. Here we find the command M906 and you can see that the Z current is set for 1000 milliamps or 1 amp and I will change it to 1.3 amps so uh, 1300 milliamps. After this hit save changes and we need to reboot the duet. So the current was set for 1 amp and I've modified it now it's 1.3 amps so let's have a look what it does right now. Yes! Got it! This looks brilliantly perfect. I love it. Okay, so that's it. Good test. So next episode we'll go for the X and the Y axis and continue on that build. So finally we can continue. So thank you very much for watching, uh, like and subscribe, see you guys next time, bye.